Steven, all right, I'm excited to do this. This is gonna to sound too good to be true, but hear me out. I'm going to two to 10X the health, wellness, and performance of every single employee, including you, in your business and within all your companies, and subsequently increase your bottom line by 20 to 50%, tens of millions of dollars a year. You said that your health is the foundation of everything you have. You remove my health, you remove everything I have. Then my question is why don't you apply that and what if you apply that to every single employee and every single member of every single company within all the businesses you manage? Hundreds of productivity days are lost every single year to you and your employees taking unnecessary sick days. Thousands of hours are lost because you and your team are losing focus. They're constantly getting distracted. They're unhealthy. They're having low energy, fatigue, lethargy, depression, anxiety, autoimmune conditions. Females having debilitating PMS symptoms that are causing them to have unnecessary sick days. All of these are fixable. And now I know this because I've been doing this for eight plus years as a health professional, functional health practitioner and coach. You said you wanted evidence, so let me show you. Started eating liver every day and I've started having all the supplements you prescribe and dude, today, yesterday, and a bit of the day before, I shit you not, Alex, I feel like I'm on cocaine. <laughs> I, have so, I, I have so much energy, it's unreal. Crazy. Like, I wanna fight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I am like flying. I've, I've never had this much energy in my life. This is and what we really do, weird. bro. Now use this energy to be productive in the world, to go attack. I have never been that confident in my life. You have no idea. I think, I think that's one of the biggest things um, I got as an outcome of coaching with you. I am a completely different person when it comes to my confidence. Wow. A year ago. You have no idea. But I wanted to get rid of the binge because I'm just not doing that anymore. <laughs> You said you wanted some evidence. Well, there is some, and there's more to come along in this video. I'm applying for arguably one of the most important roles that you do not have in your company, and that's chief health officer. Someone to manage the entire health, wellness, and performance of your, all of your companies, so you don't have to think, and you can outsource such a gargantuan, big, monumental, but massively impactful opportunity and task and responsibility. Here's how we're gonna do it. Three tiers, environment, health, and psychology slash mindset. Environment. I'm going to analyze and upgrade each office workspace to maximize the energy and productivity of everybody who works in there through things that some of you have no idea about. How air quality and light and sound and workflow and movement and nutrition all influence the attention and energy of someone's ability to work one hour or 30 minutes without getting distracted and to be able to go multiple, multiple hours and have virtually unlimited energy like I have. You know how you've meticulously chosen all the podcast equipment for Diary of a CEO? Well, imagine someone who comes in there and they meticulously pick all of the equipment and tools and opportunities that are being missed to enhance the productivity, workflow, and energy of every single employee that works and lives in that office space. And this includes people at home. So for people at home who work from home, employees of yours, I'll do the same thing. We're gonna come in there and we're gonna change and improve their environment. So let's say I can increase your company's productivity by 50%. 50% less distractions, 50% more deep work, 50% more time on task without distractions. These are not unreasonable things. These are quite attainable. Imagine then what that does to your bottom line. At scale, over hundreds of employees. Now, not only does your company make, we can theorize tens of millions of more dollars over a long enough time period, multiple years, your ability to solve bigger problems and you and your employees' ability to solve bigger problems and make a larger impact on the world is enhanced. So you have to ask, okay, what, what am I missing here? What am I missing by not taking an opportunity to solve that problem? And that's what is what you're missing, money, opportunity and impact. But look, even if we achieve half of that, even half of that, okay, let's be conservative, then it's still a lot of impact, opportunity and money. So even if we're conservative, there's still so much we're leaving on the table. 
Now let's get to number two, health biomarkers. I'm going to be looking and doing a comprehensive analysis of each person's biochemistry, blood work, and nutrient deficiencies. I'd bet at least, I'd put money, serious money, I'd put a one year salary that I would say at least 50% of your employees are walking around with nutrient deficiencies that are dampening and suffocating their ability to have energy, not experience pain as a result of debilitating autoimmune conditions, or just plummeting their energy levels, causing them to be sluggish and slower and make decisions slower and have more errors. Every unnecessary error costs you, their money and opportunity. At scale, this compounds to an overwhelming amount of missed opportunity and impact. But most people don't know this. Most people just walk around and be like, what do you mean you get an afternoon crash? Like, of course you get an afternoon crash. I don't get an afternoon crash. People on my level don't get afternoon crashes. I don't need to rely on coffee and caffeine. You know that's possible for you and your employees too, right? I do this with my clients, I'll show you some more. Some of them have just accepted their poor health, their autoimmune conditions, their gut health that is wrecking them and makes them not as excited to come to work. It's costing them their health, their quality of life, and it's costing you a fantastic employee who now is not going to be contributing as in such a big and impactful way. Their ability of who they could be in your company, in their life, it, it's a limiter on it. It's like a car. It's like a rate limiter on the car. It just can't go beyond a certain speed unless someone removes that and shows them, hey, you've got all these holes in, in this boat. It's leaking. Let me fix that for you. Not a, but let me fix that for you at scale. If you allow me, I'm going to double, I'm gonna aim to double the energy levels of your staff and begin to fix their health conditions so we can plug the holes in the boat, fix the leaking water, which is money and global impact. The third and last piece is arguably the most important psychology and mindset. Our perception of the world, as you know, governs our reality and so many of your employees, perhaps even including yourself to an extent, have many self-limiting beliefs that is limiting their ability to be productive and effective in their world and in your world. This is one that is hard to explain but really can only be shown. But over my life, I've developed myself from a worthless, insecure, weak young boy into a man who, and a coach who now has a profound ability to help people. Now, how do I mean help people? I'm talking through PTSD, I'm talking through trauma, uh, debilitating health conditions that have need them to suicide. This, this has been the worst three, three month period I've ever been through. Cannot live like this. No, man. Well, don't want to. no, I wouldn't. I'd, if it doesn't get better, I, I wouldn't. Like, that's how down the rabbit hole I've been. Yeah, it's... Yeah, really. It's like that? Yeah, man. When you say you wouldn't, do you understand what you're saying? Yep. 100%. You guaranteed have many staff right now who are going through these in silence. You have no idea about them, and it's fucking them up. I know... You care about your people. But you don't have systems in place and people in place to support them through these really difficult challenges. Go see a therapist is a good start, but it's not enough. If you will allow me and you're willing to take a chance, then I can be that person for them and for you. I know how to communicate to people that light them up, to transmute their mindset into incredible change. We're talking identity change, habit change, and their mindset. I can't do this with everybody, I'm not a magician, but I can do this in a way that scales your companies in a way that enables them to transform the people who work for you, to transform their lives and all the businesses that you operate. Now, how do we do this practically? I'm gonna do recurring one-on-ones with your most valuable, high leverage staff. We're talking C-suites, we're talking managers, we're talking personal assistants, people that you deem the most high leverage because if we address them and they get one-on-one -on -one time with someone like me, then that has a trickle 
downstream effect to all the other people that they manage. So they are priority number one, including yourself. We impact the highest leverage staff first. Then I host recurring group calls and in-person events and workshops that center around mindset and psychology and behavior change that allow people to be more efficient and effective. It's like every single member, staff member, got their own personal health and wellness functional medicine coach at scale. If you can imagine the level of impact that could have, I think it's pretty exciting. I'm biased though. They have access all to me seven days a week via WhatsApp. So we have a tool of accountability that can ask questions, share their wins. Every office will receive a productivity upgrade. And I can I, all outsource to me. I can handle that. Everything, everybody's going to be sent. Every office is going to be sent. And I'm not going to tell you what tools yet. It's in the email. I have a link out in the email that shows all the tools and resources that we can begin using immediately. I don't care if you just take that and forget about this video forever. You can have it, okay? All these tools and resources, you don't know how to implement it though. That's where I come in. All these tools and resources, everybody gets sent. Every office at home, every office in workspace. We're leaking money. You think you're doing a good job. I promise there's so much shit that is just being ignored that it's costing people and costing you a ton of opportunity and money in the workflow workspace setup. I've already done that. That's ready to go. I have it ready. Uh, lastly, we're going to use uh, Cyfox Health to get everyone sent at home blood kit testing analysis. So it's easy, it's simple, it's effortless. I don't have to go to the doctors. Let's skip that. I have, I know people and I know a company uh, that I am affiliated with and work with. I don't get a kickback from it, don't worry. Where a very easy way for people to get their biochemical uh, blood analysis. I get sent it on the back end. I look at it and then I build out a specific protocol and guide for each individual for nutrition, supplements and lifestyle. So now, we have this multifaceted, very holistic approach at attacking environment, mindset, and psychology, and its specific health. Personally, and you can get people to crunch numbers, we can crunch numbers later. If, if done correctly and effectively, the potential upside of this is, well, knowing how successful you have been, Stephen, how successful you will be, tens of millions to hundreds of millions of dollars over the course of decades. Compared to if you do nothing and stay the same, but I think you actually care less about money and more about global impact. Someone's ability to have extreme high energy, ability to focus, ability not just be in pain, not be in pain and walk around suffering like so many of you and your employees have gone through or go through or will go through. If we can massively reduce that on a global scale across every single company, every single employee, and then put a systems in place for every single new person that comes in now gets this system the mind boggles at how much actual impact you can potentially have or that you're leaving on the table by not doing this. I don't need public clout. I don't need recognition. I can do this anonymously if you like. I really don't care, okay? I know some people come to you and they, they try and hang on your coattails. Don't mention me. Don't mention my name if you're ever concerned about that. That's fine. More important is to have an impact on something bigger. I know that I can because I've done it on the individual level at scale. And I'm looking for an opportunity for me to grow my level of impact. I know, I know there's something much bigger out there for me. And this, this ain't even it. This is the stepping stone to the thing. This is like the stepping stone. And that's, that's me being selfish. I'm like, oh, what is in it for me? Well, that's in it for me. The stepping stone to the next thing for me to have a larger impact on people. I'm going to be the intermediary between all the overwhelming but amazing health experts you have in your podcast, when they say contradictory things, you and your team are like, well, this person said this thing, this person said that thing, that person said that thing, what do we do, what the fuck? I'm overwhelmed, I'm gonna do nothing. I'm gonna be the intermediary between all that, you no longer have that problem, but I'm not the most qualified and I'm not the smartest, you should know that. If you're looking for that, you can click off the video and we're done. But I can guarantee one thing, I'm the most obsessed. I'm the most curious and I'm the most dedicated. What am I dedicated to though? I'm dedicated to finding the closest thing to the truth possible regardless of how it makes me feel or how inconvenient it may be to me. That is the main principle that is important to me and with that commitment, you find the closest thing to the truth to help everybody. The longer we wait, the more you lose. The more we lose. 
Now, I know, Stephen, this is a type two decision. It's easily reversible. You don't like it after a week or a day or a month, done. But if you are, I'm ready to run through this type two decision as quickly as possible. You let me know and I will fly out to wherever you want in the world, whether we spend a minute together and you're like, yep, or no, or whether we spend an hour together. I'll pay my own way there on a moment's notice. I don't care. I'm ready to go. You let me know. Thank you for watching. Speak soon, Stephen.